Hey guys, ah. it's PC Purse, and we're back again today talking about Jocelyn's Cabaret in New York. Today we're doing episode two and three. So if you like Ratchet TV and you like pole dance, then you are in the right spot. So let's talk about it. I almost gave up on this show last week because I feel like this show is reminding me of season two in the best and the worst ways because it has potential to be something good, but I feel like I'm not that hopeful <laughs> that we're gonna get as good of a quality show as we could. I feel like Zeus be playing in our faces, giving us a lot of filler episodes where not a lot happens besides like fights, but a lot of the fights don't even feel genuine to me, but we're gonna get into that. So we just wanna speed through episode two because honestly not a lot happened. It started with Jocelyn slamming Raven and then walking back in. Wasn't much to say. Raven really didn't do anything. So, all right. Then um, Jocelyn starts going through all the girls and she has them come up in groups. And it was funny because she did maybe groups of like four or five people at a time. And I thought that was pretty smart because who has time to see all those girls one by one? And then also you're looking for people that stands out for a cabaret. So if you are amongst a group of people and my eyes catch you, then you have that it factor. Let's just narrow it out quick like that. So I was with her for that one. And it's funny because it's all types of girls. It's natural bodies, slim bodies, thick bodies, inflated bodies, and wet, wet. I feel like wet, wet because she's not the best dancer, but she has a lot of personality and her personality was showing after her season. I feel like she's like, I'm just going to come through and just run my mouth so that I stand out because she was talking about people's hair, people's bodies, people's everything. And it's like, mm, your look isn't a hundred percent together for you to be talking about people like that, but all right, her and Daisy this season so far are the ones that's talking about people the most. We'll get back to Daisy. After all the girls go, Jocelyn starts going through her first round of eliminations and she's written down in her phone notes of who she likes and she wrote down descriptions the way chance did the way flavor flav did all the reality shows like that she just has funny descriptions like the tall doofy girl with pink on you no not you her like that part was kind of funny and she had a hard time picking because she said a lot of the girls stood out and they did a lot of different things we saw girls with their shoes on fire we saw butt plugs with the little diamonds sticking out to make them stand out girls that had on full clothes like Miss Natural with dancing, some people that had on stripper outfits. I mean, people just had the whole scope. And it was interesting because Miss Natural was like, I didn't know we were gonna have to dance like this. Okay, I guess. And she had a full outfit, but she still did her thing on the pole. We're gonna come back to that too. But Jocelyn has a hard time, so she winds up getting Melissa and Ballistic to help her make her final decisions. So let's not forget last season, Yummy hit Miss Natural in the head with a shoe, which was a big thing. So Miss Natural's still mad. So she starts trying to fight Yummy P. Wet Wet jumps in and then she gets mad because she said Yummy didn't have to respond to her. That whole thing seemed like, where, where did Wet Wet come from with that? But um, Yummy winds up having a blade. Security has to tell her to calm down. She's definitely afraid of getting hurt. And I mean, well, Zoo Security really don't stop. <laughs> anybody from fighting other than people trying to get to Jocelyn so I can see why she's scared but um it was just a lot I really wasn't caring for that so let me rewind a little bit the first group of girls that went were the older girls and one new girl with short blonde hair after that the new girls from New York went I thought they did pretty good like we saw some tricks we saw different things they brought personality they brought little things that made them stand out which is really important because it's a cabaret so you really didn't know what to expect, but I would say for something like that with a lot of people showing up, you should be focused on like whatever your image is, just making sure that your look stands out, having maybe a signature move or something special that you do. Just Or even if you couldn't figure any of that out, just being super confident and in your skin because that's what's gonna make you stand out at the end of the day. And that was really what Jocelyn was looking for because she, we already know from past seasons, she even reiterated it this season that she doesn't care about if you can do all the pole tricks. She's kind of looking for that it factor. And it's kind of like how it is with pole dance anyway. You don't have to be 
the best at anything. You kind of just have to be yourself and bring your own flavor. So I do like her, her stance on that. And then in the end, we just see that Yummy and Miss Natural are going to fight again. So the reason why I was ready to give up <laughs> on this show is because just like in season one, I felt like they have all the ingredients for a good show, especially this season, because a lot of the people compete in this season were on season one and two, something like that from season three. I don't know, but they were here from the old seasons. So they've already been around Jocelyn. They have already had issues with her, some made up with her. They have issues with each other. I mean, there's enough drama there, but also those girls can dance and have dance experience. So I think at some point, maybe Miss Natural could have been like cabaret captain or no, who was it? Yummy P was cabaret captain for a bit. So they, it's potential to see how they, they interact with Jocelyn, how they interact with each other and knowing that they can dance and the new girls from New York can dance. Like, let's see some movement. Let's see what happens when you're trying to get people together that don't all have the same types of skills, but they need to work together, especially for something like a cabaret. Each person can kind of, stand out in their own way so let's play to that also the different sizes and shapes very cool because like in a strip club or any other type of performance people like all different types of bodies so i like that but so far all we're getting is this manufactured beef wet wet is trying to fight yummy p and I, i'm not really sure why miss natural is still angry i understand why she's angry but it's like do something and then let it go so anyway we get to episode three episode three starts and we get a new theme song i like jocelyn's songs for the theme song like i do feel like her music is good promotion like or the show is good promotion for her music i just so her new video is kind of making fun of her incident at the floyd mayweather fight and we know that the girls that get chosen for this get to dance with her at the the big event which was a floyd mayweather fight i thought it was kind of kind of crazy that she made fun of that arrest because mm, she still got some issues going on with that right now so that was pretty bold but i guess makes her stand out so then miss natural fights yummy p yummy is basically just trying to run she really doesn't want to fight she don't want no smoke miss natural is all for it slams her slams herself on the ground and jocelyn is like we can't do this every day y'all gotta calm down you got your leg back we can't do this every day. You at least got to give it a three-day break. <laughs> I don't know what the three days is for, but hopefully after these three days, they can just stop all the fighting. It's a bit much. So after all that's done, we see Jocelyn getting her hair and makeup done. And so, you know, she has to talk to Ballistic every episode. So she's telling him that she doesn't want to bring the new girls into the house. And I'm not really mad at that. It's not necessary. But, I mean, she says it's beneath her. That's a bit much. That's a lot. But she says she's going to get the choreographer to do it. That's not a bad idea because since he's going to be in charge of the girls, then he should just start getting ready to know them anyway. So that's not a problem. And so so there's two buses, one with Miss Natural and one with Yummy because I guess they don't trust them to be together. And the one with Miss Natural has Wet Wet, the plus size girl that they picked, and the blonde girl that went with all the older girls when they were first doing their, their auditions. And Wet Wet starts coming at the plus size girl. And it's funny because they both have on blonde wigs and Wet Wet is talking about her body and her hair. And then the other blonde girl is like, mm, Wet Wet really shouldn't be talking because her look isn't together either, which is true. And then Miss Natural also comes to the plus size girl like, mm, you got a lot to prove so you shouldn't be coming at anybody because she came in Wet Wet first. And again, I think everybody's just looking for a moment like, mm, what what need to be quiet? But it is true though, what the girl was saying because she can't dance. So I don't know why she made this season because she also didn't have a lot of personality on stage. She had a lot of personality after the season with just being like an internet personality. So I think maybe she's good for ratings. So that's why she's back. But in terms of dancing, I think if she's actually gonna be in the cabaret like if she makes it she's gonna have to pick up some movement so i hope during this time off <laughs> she picked up something or that the girls can teach her something so let's see what happens with that when the girls get to the house ricardo the choreographer welcomes them 
tells them to go in. They start picking out their rooms. And so we have one girl that kind of reminds me of Gaia from last season. And she's kind of, I guess, kind of spiritual, kind of hippie-ish, kind of sweet, I guess, kind of. And she's got a voodoo doll that she says she got in New Orleans. Shout out to Nola. I love New Orleans. And um, she says it's like her emotional support doll and all the girls in the house don't like it. So they also feel like she, I guess, doesn't have a backbone and she kind of just floats back and forth between people and doesn't have a mind of her own. So they definitely start getting at her about the doll. But I'm feeling like she might be the one to watch because I thought Gaia was going to be the quiet one last season. But she stood up for herself. She was slamming people all last season. This one stands up for herself too. So let's see if she got them hands. I don't know. Not that I want them to fight, but I don't know. I wouldn't count her out for that. Another thing I got to say about this house, Zeus kind of doesn't believe in doing a themed house. Like if they have all these dances in the house, the house is nice, it's big, but it does not have anything to do with the theme of this show. The kitchen was cute, kind of, the bathrooms were nice, but the rest of the house looked real kind of antique-ish and just old school. You would think there'd be some bright colors, some glow-in-the-dark stuff, some neon, I don't know, some... I just think about like when Bad Girls Club used to be a thing. The house would be decked out like Bad Girls Club. You know, the rugs, the carpets, the beds, the everything. This is just kind of like, we got the house and y'all here. Take it. I also don't know how much I believe that the girl is really into voodoo. Like we saw her light some candles and kind of pray that the girls like her and her personality. But again, this reminded me of Bad Girls Club Judy with the, when Drake was, I got the voodoo for you bitches. And then Judy used to say that all the time. I don't know if I really believe it. Um, she says she doesn't practice it either. I think it's just something to talk about for the show. I don't think that's needed either. Um, but the girls definitely get together in the kitchen and start talking about her and they really don't like her because of that. So I don't know, maybe that'll be a thing this season. Um, Wet Wet and Daisy say that they don't feel that they should have to audition because they've already been on the show. Daisy, I remember saying them in her first season. Okay, I remember in the first season, Daisy, I guess, was a moneymaker in her club. But I don't remember her dancing that much in season one. I don't know. Maybe I need to watch it again. I don't remember her dancing that much. So this is supposed to be a group thing, not just about you hustling to get money. So let's see that. But Wet Wet couldn't dance. So open a new thing. She needs to be open to the choreography. She said she was, so we're going to see. But then Wet Wet and yummy start getting into it i'm still not quite sure why but then the voodoo girl andrea inserts herself in the mix kind of sticking up for wet wet and saying she didn't like what um yummy did to miss natural last season and then they start kind of ganging the two of them are kind of talking to yummy and then wet wet throws water on her and then the two of them start to fight jocelyn already warned her that she got into a fight even though it was with miss natural that she was gonna have to leave so we'll see if she'll have to leave because it wasn't with miss natural but I don't think she should have to leave for that. But I think Yummy needs to, not Yummy, Wet Wet needs to calm down because I feel like she's fighting a battle that's not really hers. I think she just wants some attention. And then in the end, we see the choreographer and all the girls and Jocelyn in the room kind of going over some things. It seems like Miss Natural is kind of cabaret captain again. She's just very assertive. And then we see Jocelyn in this hat talking to Andrea about her voodoo thing. And I'm just like, I hope Erica Badu don't see this because she's been coming at people with the hats recently. So we'll see. But um, that's what happened in episode two and three. We saw a little bit of dancing. I think the girls from New York are rapping. Um, Shout out to my friend OTZ who was trying to get me to go down there to do this audition. And I was like, I don't think it's for me. After watching the season, I know it's not for me. I thought Jocelyn was going to calm down a little bit and she hasn't. And I can't sign up to have people speak to me like that because that would not work for me. I don't know. Would you be able to do it? Like, I would love to show up and dance and even like be part of a tour and dance theme. Like, I love cabarets. I love, you know, the whole showgirl kind of thing. But, um, yeah. I would need more of a sisterhood. My experience with pole stuff has been more of a sisterhood. That's more of like the athletic side. But, you know, all that cattiness just, uh, yes, you need some of it for reality TV, but I think they're doing a bit much. 
But what they need to do is hire me <laughs> for development of this show because they have so many things that they could be doing with this show to make it really interesting and fun and actually like a good show. And I just feel like they focus on the wrong thing. So they want to hire me for development. Hit my jack because I'll help you out with that. This show could be a lot of fun. But mm. so anyway, I have tutorial for it today. Like I said, this is reminding me of season two, which is my favorite season by far. And if you watched me when I was doing season two, I did a recreation of something Miss Natural did before. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do what she did in episode two or something to that effect, cause you know that chop, chop, chop it up. So, and I'm gonna post what she did. So if you wanna do the routine too, you can tag me or you can do it. You know, it's just for fun. But I love Miss Natural. I love the way she dances. I think she's such a beautiful, talented dancer. Yummy too. I think she's really talented. Attitudes be off the chain, but so here we go. Hopefully you're all caught up now, episode two and three. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you wanna keep watching this show, if you're liking this season. If you're liking this season more than the other ones. For me personally, I think this one is gonna be the one to compete with season two. But to me right now, season two is still the best. Let me know how you're feeling about Daisy. I feel like I'm not sure about her yet. Um, I also don't know how I feel about uh, Lucky being gone. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you had fun with Miss Natural's routine and how you're feeling about her. And I hope this was fun for you guys. Shout out to y'all that are returning. Um, shout out to CD Galore. I appreciate your comment. I'm happy that you're back. And I will see you guys for the next one. Oh, and side note, since we're talking about New Orleans and voodoo and all that other stuff, go to my Instagram. I'm going to post just for you guys because I'm trying to play catch up with... All my social media stuff too. I'm gonna post a video from earlier this year when I went to Mardi Gras for the first time and you can see some of the little naughty fun that I had while I was out there. All right, I'll see you guys later.